Well, there's really a sense of relief from people that they finally have an answer and a timeline for what the next few years will look like. Early on in the West Seattle Bridge closure, many bridge users worried about the uncertainty, not knowing even a ballpark figure for how long it could take to reopen this critical crossing. There's a collective sigh of relief now that there's a path forward. Laura Radford is executive director of the West Seattle Junction Business Association. But at least we know that there is a potential end to the fact that we have been cut off from the, the rest of Seattle. Radford said she worried the city would not have been able to quickly secure the federal dollars needed to build a new bridge. Repairing the bridge uh, definitely felt like the safest option to restoring our connection to the city. Kevin Brovelite founded the group West Seattle Bridge Now and says he's hopeful the bridge will reopen sooner than the 2022 timeframe the mayor announced. We do have certainty that the bridge is going to be reopened and it's going to be safe. And if there's another closure, it's going to be planned and a long time down the road. And most importantly, it's going to come after we have light rail in West Seattle. Sound Transit says it expects to connect West Seattle with light rail in 2031. The hope is a repaired crossing will keep West Seattle connected until the day comes, potentially decades from now, but perhaps sooner, when the whole thing needs to be replaced. What we've learned in these last eight months is the bridge cannot be our only mode of transportation. Earlier this week, Mayor Durkin said she's speaking with the governor's office about finding some financial relief for businesses impacted by the bridge closure. No announcements on that just yet, but there's still quite a bit of hardship ahead for many businesses impacted by this closure. Ted Land, King 5 News. Okay.